All right, everybody, we are prepared and ready now to write our first piece of code, and that is going to be um, a, what's called a function, or you can think of it as like a command that is going to open up the window in which the output of our program will live. That's kind of a mouthful. It's so basically going to open up a window, and your program is going to be in that window, the output of it, like what happens in, uh, in your program. And it's called size. So you type in the word size. And if you have autocorrect turned on, you'll notice it says error. And it underlines it. In some ways, it might be a good idea to turn that off while we're learning. Uh, you can go to File and Preferences. Because you know what? We actually didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I'm just looking through the options here. And uh, sorry, where is it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. continuously check for errors. So I'm just going to turn that off so that as we're programming, then we will not get interrupted mid-stroke while we just haven't finished. Sometimes you have to pause and think. So I'll turn that off now. So it says size. This is going to open a window of a particular size. But we're not quite done yet. And what we need to do is tell the uh, computer what size window we want. So what we're going to do is give our size function Arguments. Arguments is just a fancy word for additional information. And we have to put them in a particular order and in a particular format. It's really not that hard. I'm making it sound all hard. What you do is after the size function, you put in two parentheses. And then, anyway, you notice it turned blue. So that tells you that, oh, this is a, a special function that processing knows about. And then what you can do is you can type in the width and the height of the window in pixels separated by a comma. So I'm going to put in a, let's make a really skinny, tall window. So I'm going to make a 100 pixel window by 600. And then the last thing to do is type in a semicolon to say, I'm done my command, or I'm done my function. So what the heck does this do again? So it's going to make a window that has a particular size. It's 100 wide and 600 tall. So if I run this, and by the way, the commands are running. It just looks like the play button in like a YouTube video or something. You can press it, and it'll run, and you'll see a window will show up. Hopefully, it'll be a tall, skinny window. Yes, it is. It's uh, 100 pixels wide, and it's kind of gray on the inside. I can't quite grab it because the window's too short or something. Um, but yeah, you can see that there's, there's something going on inside of there. Uh, but we haven't programmed to do anything, just open a window. If you wanted to make a, say, a wide but short um, window, then you can change these. You can make the width 600, say, and you can make the height 100. So if I run it, you'll see we'll get a squat wide window. And actually, I can grab that one a little bit easier and move that around. So you see how the first number always represents the width, and the second number always represents the height. This is something that's true about all functions in processing. And you'll be learning a whole bunch of them. Uh, today, even, you'll learn a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to just put a comment to remind myself that the arguments are in the following order. It's going to be in width, height, order. That just gives me a, a little note as I build my program to say, Ooh, yeah, that's supposed to be the width, and that's supposed to be the height. Um, so there you go. There's our first program. Not not amazing, but guess what? This is going to be the foundation of every single project. Even your most advanced project you're going to build this year um, is going to start with size as you open up. I maybe won't start with size all the time. I might put a few things before it, but it's always going to have size in there as you open up a window uh, to have your game or animation or whatever it is uh, play out in. Awesome. Size. Very powerful and useful. Uh, okay. Thanks. And in the next lesson, uh, video, whatever you want to call it, uh, we're going to actually put some stuff inside of that window. Okay. Thanks very much.